All right, aggressive aerodynamics. Time to wrap up this bonus series as we have uh, completed 21 out of 22 tiers in this bonus series. And for completing this final tier, there's some 32 gold and 32,000 racing dollars to be won. Right, uh, of course, total rewards that was uh, available on this series was 77 gold total and 77,000 uh, racing dollars. And uh, final tier, here we are. We got head to head, elimination, and the final cup at Le Mans 24 hour circuit, which requires PR 87.5. And uh, Brabham BT62 is the only car in this group that can uh, essentially unlock this that cup but before that we'll start out with the head to head we'll use uh, one of the lesser cars uh, in my case it'll be Aventador SVJ which is also maxed out with a PR 79.1 but obviously that's not enough to uh, unlock that final cup but that's a okay since I do have my Brabham fully maxed out. So, all right. So prior to getting to that grand finale, let's uh, warm up here. It looks like my opponent also had the similar idea, racing the Aventador SVJ here for a single lap head-to-head -head at Manza Road Course. Guess I do not need to break as early. Oh, that one I did. <laughs> Into Lesmo. Exiting Lesmo. And I will break early. There we go. Scary. Uh, that was not ideal. Line through Ascari. A little bit indecisive, a little bit wobbly. And uh, Parabolica. And... That uh, is some severe understeering, but uh, I suppose um, the spoilers doing what it's designed to do, keep the car from just spinning. <laughs> All right. Minute 32, just under minute 33 for that quick lap around Manza Road Course. Let's take out some six and a half service bars for that effort. All right, that is one of the final three gold trophies I'm gonna need. Let's continue on. Elimination at Daytona. This is of course going to be a rolling start. All TSM bots I'm racing against, all right. And I'll get in the middle. There we go. Got some problems. It looks like McLaren sent up ahead. Oi.
Yeah, these uh, Lambo four-wheel drives can feel a little wonky in handling. But, uh, all right, gotta get it together and climb up the ranks here. All right, just one more car to overtake. That is uh, early braking, if I've seen one. Uh-oh, we're running out of clock. We're running out of time on the clock. Uh... All right, 20 seconds. Do you have what it takes? I think I might have taken too much time at the beginning of this elimination now. Down the straight, I'm not going to be able to catch up. But that makes me wonder. Which car is in the lead? I have a feeling that wasn't a, an Aventador. Maybe it was uh, Brabham? Perhaps? Let's find out, shall we? What was Jose racing? And... Yes, it was Brabham, which does have superior handling around the corners. At least that's my excuse for not being able to win that one. So we'll give it another go. And I think uh, we have a different grid, right? Yep, some other uh, new set of friends. And once again, looks like uh, Brabham in the lead, but this time a little easier to overtake and of course I have come out a little bit more aggressively at the beginning as well which uh, definitely helps And then once you're in the lead early on, the rest of it just becomes a bit more relaxing, you know? Daytona, a uh, tough circuit. Yeah, but these uh, four-wheel drive Lambos do have a very interesting, uh, kind of unique driving um, or handling behavior. But I suppose that is kind of somewhat expected. Doesn't necessarily make it easier to race, though. <laughs> All right. 
a second time, does it? Eh. A little bit of penalty taken for uh, not being perfect, I suppose. That's fine. The important thing is good enough for the second to last gold trophy or the trophy number, what, 53, I think? This one, this series has uh, 57 events or 54 trophy events plus three time trials, I believe. So, yep. All right. One final cup. And uh, it's going to be a three-lap cup at the Le Mans circuit. And no, Aventador can't do it. Senna can't do it. I mean, it's in service right now, but it's still, even if it's not in service, still can't do it. Um, so... Brabham's gonna have to do it, and this is a long race, so um, let's have the race uh, go a bit further. And yes, the car is in critical condition, but it's just like a sliver into the red, so it's the uh, car should be able to, uh, it should be in a pretty normal condition. And it's gonna be a uh, Bright sunny day. All right, and uh, there's some uh, non Brabums in this grid, which is always nice to see. So you can race with other cars with lower PR once you uh, win this race. So in order to win it initially, for other cars to be able to uh, um, race in here, you basically have to uh, win it first. And only way you can do it is with this guy. Grab him. All right. Climbing up the ranks. P7. Ah, it's a shame that there's no drafting. Yeah, this guy's pretty grippy, isn't it? Straight up V8, right? And here, let's listen to that from the inside of the car. The roar. Certainly very uh, playable cockpit screen. Yeah. There we go, beautiful overtake. And uh, not quite the next one. Can't quite climb up to P1 yet. But through Porsche curves, I should be able to overtake since bots do tend to overcompensate around these uh, bends. Oh, little bit of contact. Okay. I'll try to keep it fairly clean. Mm. 
Yes. In cockpit view, I think it is a little bit harder to assess the amount of space that you have uh, next to your car when you're making overtakes, so it can get a little bit tricky, but there we go. That should be good enough. And this guy's grippy enough to let me through the rest of the Dunlop curves. There we go, and can we take Tetra Rouge flat out? Oh yeah, and then some. Was not even an ideal line, but uh, that's okay. This is uh, one very grippy ride. And top speed ain't so shabby either. 354 down Molson Street. And the car is actually in critical condition, just a little bit, but nevertheless, it is not uh, full health, if you will. So you can say that uh, the car has been road tested, <laughs> or track tested in this case. Did I clip that corner on the inside? I might have. I know, kind of hard to tell from the cockpit view, isn't it? Alright, two minutes at second checkpoint. So, is this going to be about a three minute lap? We shall see. bit over three minutes all right final lap I'll go back to the chase view and see if I can get this final lap under a minute or under three minutes under a minute that'd be incredible so far looking pretty good nice solid start uh, that one could have been a little bit faster Oh, pushing that very to the edge, but uh, didn't push it over the top because that would have brought down my speed. Uh, I don't think my speed was affected, so 354. Oh, that one hurts though. So. Oh, what a mess. I was trying to push for the top speed and uh, yeah, should break earlier. Anyway, one minute mark for checkpoint one. So let's see what kind of time I get at checkpoint two. And that'll explain to me that uh, I definitely need to improve my time in the last sector all right 150 and could we hit the second checkpoint 
Yeah, I think so. 48 or 58. So, so far, I would say pace is pretty good. Oh, that wasn't so great though. I know, I was, I feel like I was braking earlier than last lap, but it felt very slippery. Even while I was braking. It, uh, just overall. It's like, uh, brake wasn't working almost. You know? I just wonder if the touch did not, uh, register on my device or something. It's certainly a possibility. Forty six, forty seven, forty oh, stay on track. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Oh, little corner cutting, I think. But nevertheless, got that final lap under three minutes. So, yeah, Le Mans race always payout is uh, pretty decent. For a single race. Of course, with the racing dollar earning, I'm not too concerned. The fame points, 8200 for eh, about, well, 9 minutes, 20 seconds isn't that great of a payout, but uh, you know what? I will take it. Better than if it wasn't double, right? All right, but that's not the important part. Okay, we'll put the car in for service. The important part is the next part, right? The completion of another bonus series with that final gold trophy, which means 32 gold. And, uh, well, 32,000 racing dollars, <laughs> but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, but 32 gold definitely comes in handy since uh, with the recent uh, discount up offers that just kind of, you know, got all dumped on us recently. So I had to uh, spend some gold. So, but anyway, there we are. 54 gold trophies for 100% completion of uh, this bonus series aggressive aerodynamics the more or less the main uh series for brabham bt62 is complete so all right thanks for watching and uh, tagging along for a ride as it were so we'll uh catch you guys in the next video whichever that one may be so stay tuned